Welcome to another mall walking tour. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. We're going to walk you through one of Philippines' most insane mall. Just behind me is the Greensville Mall, and to the right, there's another mall combined, and that mall is absolutely crazy. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to take you on an insane walking tour. Brace yourself. So let's begin this walking tour. We are now entering the main entrance. This was this is the connection of the mall I was talking about, and we're about to visit that part. This is actually a really huge mall, and the things they have in here, wow. It will blow your mind. That's if I don't get run over uh, before I even get into the mall. Thank you, Paul. So entering the mall, you notice there is a bank on the right-hand side. And here on the left, you have a Watson. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you would know that there are a lot of Watsons here. So as you can see, this mall has uh, three floors and also the mall to the right. We will go through there, but this is the first floor and I'm just gonna take you around the first floor so we can kind of see what they have. They have a dealership here. clothing stores, you have vendors in the middle. And as usual, Irina, if you're wondering where she is, there she is, having a coffee and getting work done. <laughs> so we're going to continue. We walked out here just a second ago because we were looking for a place for Irina to sit and get her work done. This is actually a chapel. Can you believe this? It's called the Chapel of the Holy Family. And there are people in there. Some type of mass happening and there are also people outside here. You have a, cu a few restaurants here. Just uh, a Thai restaurant. So there's not much to this side. Here you have an appliance store. Here's a dealership. There's a car here. There's a lot of cars here that uh, we're not familiar with the brand. Well, this actually is a Toyota and you can purchase property. So let's go up, it says home furniture. We're gonna take the escalator up. As you can see, you might look at this mall and say, oh, well, this is tiny. You just wait one second. You're going to see the madness happen in just a few. <laughs> like I said, uh, before we came here, we came here yesterday. And the reason we came to this mall is because they fix laptops and Irina's uh, Mac laptop was uh, damaged, it didn't want to power on. And this, we figured let's give it a try and let's see if they could fix it, and they actually did. So we came today to pick up the laptop, it works, which is really cool. So this is all one store here. And they charged us, just so you know, uh, they charged us $250, because it had something to do with the motherboard. We took it to Apple when we were in, uh, Bangkok and they said that there's nothing that they could do but we got it fixed this is an Ace Hardware store Planet stores now if we go that way that's where the madness starts we're not going there right now we're gonna stay just within this area we're just gonna circle around this particular area of the mall and we're gonna go up one more floor before we go over to that direction, which is where all the madness happens. This is a toy kingdom. Ah, it's kind of like a Toys R Us. Really cool. So as you can see, I'm circling this portion of the mall pretty quickly. It's literally just a rectangle. 
But when we get to the other side of this mall, that's when it gets really hectic, it gets really crazy, it gets really crammed, and it just gets a little bit wilder. And I'm probably going to be harassed with by every vendor that I come across. So here is kind of like an antique store. And it seems like there's one more floor up, but there's really nothing up there. It's a lot of dead space. I think there's only one. Uh, oh, it's a dental, a dental clinic. There's a restaurant. Yeah, there's a dental clinic up there, so there's not much to go on. So we'll make our way down once we circle around. Beyond the box, this is also another, uh, I think, a computer store. They sell uh, electronics and stuff like that. This is actually a big one. We've seen these throughout Philippines, but this is the biggest one I've ever seen. And it goes all the way down to the other end. Wow. It's awesome. Looks like a lot of empty space though. But the design is really cool. It has that Mac vibe. So here we have a gaming store. Gaming stores are really popular here too. There you have more, you have the Switch, Nintendo, PlayStation. Here's a hobby store. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Wow, look at that. World War II planes. Super cool. Another tech shop. Hi, sir. Hello, how are you? Brand new iPhone, sir. iPads, Instant 360, GoPro. No, thank you. So this floor seems to be the electronic floor. Because here you see a lot of gaming system. PlayStation and I'm wondering if I shouldn't just enter from here I think I'll just take the escalator down and enter from the bottom floor because that's where most of the madness is so how do I get downstairs where is the down escalator I could take the elevator since it's right here yeah, let's just take the elevator. Thank you. So we're going to the ground level, I believe. Door closed. So yeah, we basically covered the three floors to this mall relatively quickly. And now, let's go to where all the action is. Now here it is not going to be any type of pattern. I'm just going to walk randomly because this place is just <coughs> insane. Okay, this is not the entrance to it. This is just another area of this mall. I have to go through the other side. Oh, there we go. Here we go. So here we're starting off, as you can see, everything is sectioned. There's like a gold area. And as far as the eye could see, it's gold and pearls. I mean, this is a lot of pearls here. So this is, I'm in the jewelry section here. As you can see, let's kind of show you the type of gold and stuff they have bracelets, earrings, and it actually goes down this way as well. This place is just so massive, so many vendors, but we're just going to continue going straight. And just to warn you, the, thing, the clothing you're about to see, um, they are all uh, knockoffs. So they are not real, they're not original, and you could get them at bargain prices. 
yesterday when we came in here I bought uh, three Lululemon shirt which is one of the shirts that I'm actually wearing right now and the Lululemon shirt is not authentic it's not real I was able to get three shirts three of the Lululemon shirts in different colors um, for a thousand pesos so basically that comes out to just about like five dollars and 25 cents per shirt and it's you know it's lululemon branded so we're gonna show you we just passed by the jewelry section now let's get into some clothing let's see what they have here i'm not sure um the type of people who sell the clothing here i'm not sure if they're actually filipinos or if they come from another country and they're just uh selling the items but let's get into the thick of it and see what we have here so here they, you'll see this a lot three for a thousand pesos so it comes out to 350 each so you can choose anything in this stall uh, for uh, you can choose any three items you can mix and match for a thousand so again you know pretty good deal it's all about bargain here uh, hello how are you oh these are branded t-shirts so they have LeBron, NBA, Kobe. Yeah. Super cool. How much are they? 350. 350 each? Yes, they each. 3 for 1,000. 3 for 1,000. Yeah. Thank you. You want branded stuff? Oh, they have more branded stuff there? Just kind of looking around. And there's hats here. Pretty cool. Oh, they have the branded ones here. So you have Mesquina, Balenciaga. Okay. Essentials. Oh, nice. And how much are they? What? Is the shirts. Uh huh. Like essential. One thousand. A thousand pesos for hoodie one. Hoodie is one three. Thirteen hundred for the hoodie. And those are the only colors you have them in. Yeah. They don't come in red. Red. Essential in red. This one no. red. Oh, only in this one. Then Balmain red. Oh, uh, but not essential. No. Okay, thank you, Paul. Yeah, I'm looking for red, like a red essential hoodie. Can't find it. So I'm just kind of asking them different question here. Are the, uh, the shirts I bought yesterday. These are the Lululemon. Hello. Let's see what I got. <laughs> How much are you selling them for? 300 for uh, 350. 350 each? Okay. And do you do also um, three for a thousand? What other colors do you have them in? Green, sir. Oh. Green, black. You don't have like a green. light, a light blue. Oh, the green is uh, gray is nice. Gray. You don't have light blue. No, we don't have no. Green. only green. Oh, only green, yeah. Dark green and then black. Right. Navy blue. I bought that yesterday. Yeah, oh, I bought the blues green. yesterday. Yeah, from another another vendor. I bought white one. I bought I bought white. I bought blue and I bought uh, this color. And I think like this, this, yeah, this is this one, right? Yeah. I bought this one. The gray? gray. It's the other design. Yeah, it's a different design, right? So they're nice. They also have the pants. They have, you have Lululemon pants also, yes? Uh, how much are the pants? Uh, same price in short. Uh, 350 Yeah, it's the same. Oh, uh, okay. And the sizes run small. We have sizes. Yeah, you have all the sizes. This is above the new design. Okay. Well, I'll circle back around and I'll see. Okay. So it's three fifty. You said yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Paul. So really cool. Again, the prices are really good. Oh, uh, here they have. Oh, uh, really cool. Essentials. So again, you get the name brand. It's kind of like the store. Local. You get the same one that like we did in um, in Bangkok when we went to the mall, which is the MBK mall where you get all the knockoff stuff. So here, they actually have it for 250 here. So small, medium, large, and extra large. 250, you carry 3X? Yes, we have 3X. You have 3X and it's the same price? 
it's different price for 3x right so yeah that's what they do if if you're if the size is too big then they charge a little bit more okay, thank you so as you can see this is a different type of uh tour he has nike hello uh, they have some nike here north face And in all honesty, I think I think the cost here is a little bit cheaper than it is in MBK Mall in Thailand. But I noticed you don't, uh, I don't think you have uh, more options. I think in Thailand you have more options. This is real cool, you have Under Armour. Oh, those are nice. So I, I usually like light thin shirts to wear because obviously you know we're going to the Maldives within a few days so I'm looking for things that are very light because it is hot in the Maldives here you have uh, NBA jerseys I'm not sure what the prices of these are how much are the NBA jerseys yes no, like the adult, adult size, like my size. How much are they? You can ask for this lady. Uh, how much are they? How much? Are, how much? Like the jerseys, yeah, my size. How much? Five hundred. Okay. Thank you. So the jerseys are five hundred pesos. And here you have eyeglasses and bags. Really cool. Oops, sorry. Here yeah, there's a whole bunch of bags. North Face, Gucci. Here you have slippers. Here are all the different types of slippers. So as you see, everything is kind of categorized. Really cool. Hello. Hello. You have baby clothes here. You have sneakers. Hello. So it's funny, when, I, when we first was walking through here, I didn't have my phone. And um, we were walking through the aisle and everyone tried to stop us. I mean, literally every vendor along the way tried to stop us. Now that they see me with the phone and, uh, and the gimbal, they're not really bothering me as much. I don't know, maybe because they know that they're on camera. So. Hi, what's my name? Hello. The glasses, uh, if you want to know how much the shades are, I think they were selling them for 1300 which is more expensive than the three shirts that I bought yesterday because the three shirts was only 1000 So they want 1500 or 1300 for the shades. Um, they are polarized, so they're a little bit more expensive. The ones that are not polarized are a little bit uh, uh, cheaper. And again, uh, I'm not doing the, I'm not walking through every single aisle because um, it's all of the same thing. So these are the type of malls where all the vendors kind of have the same thing, same prices. Maybe you can beat them down a little bit slightly, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. But here we're in another part of the jewelry section. If you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps get the video out there. So as you can see, a lot of vendors. A lot of vendors. Let's make a left. Sir, you buy first. No, thank you. And I'm already lost. 
because but this goes all the way down it's so long and this is only the beginning we've only scraped the surface I'm not even sure how much the uh, necklaces the pearl necklaces are I don't know if they're real pearls kind of cut back in there is other floors to this mall too it's when you get upstairs it's it's all electronics and different things so we're gonna take the escalator up because in this floor you have jewelry which we, we're seeing now and then uh, you have the clothing so let's see if we can make our way upstairs there are the escalators so I'm not sure again um, what the ethnicity of these uh, women are that are selling the jewelry um, if you guys know let me know maybe because they're selling jewelry they come from a different country but they're all kind of dressed the same with the uh, the veil and the hair is covered so I'm not, again I'm not sure So this is the escalator down. I don't know where the escalator up is. It should be right behind this one. So now we're making our way up. Again, I'm not going through every alley because it's all the same clothing. So now we're going upstairs. This is cell phones. They repair cell phones and laptops and computers. It's just madness here. So I'll show you what this looks like. I'll give you a wider shot. So we were just down there. As you can see, this is the layout. <laughs> it looks very organized from up here, but when you're down there, it gets very confusing. It's like a maze. So these floors go very uh, deep in different directions so we're just gonna kind of walk around and this is gonna be like our central point and yes dogs are allowed in the mall so here's all cell phone repair and, uh, so you'll see uh, Hewlett Packard you'll see Dell you'll see a whole bunch of computer and a whole bunch of phone accessories really cool hello, hello. And I'm not really sure why they're calling me over. It's not like I'm bringing my phone to be uh, to be replaced or repaired. I'm gonna show you the one we used. Um, it's actually this one here, Repair Advisor. This is the company uh, we used, but it wasn't here. It was further down. So you see they have dongles and, and um, iPhone um, uh, bands, uh, the watches. It's just insane in here. <clears throat> this is a Samsung store. And this is the way in. We came in this way before. Okay, let's just continue going back this way. Because that way there's uh, actually a dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. So we're just going to come back in through here. Again, this is where we got our laptop fixed. We highly recommend them. They did a good job. Our laptop did not want to power on at all. There was no power to it. And even when we took it to the Apple store, they said, yeah, there's nothing that they could do. We brought it here. 
they fixed it for two hundred and fifty dollars USD. Seven hundred. So again, here's how big this small is. Look at that. Okay, let's go around and see what else we can find, what type of vendors are on this floor. Downstairs on this floor, there's uh, some food shops. Wow, it goes all the way down that way. So here you have mouse pads, iPad covers, how are you? Uh, they do printing. So you see phone cases of every size, shape and description. Hi. Hello. They also have uh, the AirPods for Apple. And of course, these are not real. These are knockoffs. I had bought this from uh, I bought this from uh, Bangkok. I think I paid a hundred dollars for mine. But what the guy told me that sold it to me, he said it's pretty much like ninety percent um, real. So really cool. Hello. So here they do phone repairs for you. Laptop repairs. These boys are just hashing it out right here. Everyone that's in blue. You get your laptop fixed. Really cool. No, thank you. Get your laptop repair, and they do Windows and Mac. They have their shops right here. Really cool. Hey, how are you? So look at this. This is literally a shop. Look at these guys. They have their. They can look at your phone. Really cool. They open your phone and they take a look inside of it. Let's see what's on the outside here. So this is the area that we were in before, the other mall. This is why I said we can come in through. So this is just another way to get into it. But the repair center is just crazy. There's so many of them. Let's go in here so we can see them. How are you? So they have iPhones here, all different um, generations of the iPhone. Here are the watch bands. Uh, how are you? So the funny thing about the um, the headphones, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this is what I was told from the other vendor when I was in uh, Bangkok. So these headphones, as you can see, um, these, the headband is not mesh. Um, so it's not really, there are different levels of uh, authenticity. I, I guess if you could say that because they are fake but basically what they said is that they're like three the guy actually had four levels of headphones and the one I purchased that was a hundred dollars that one he said is about 90% close to the original the other ones are not so basically you can get these headphones for about thirty dollars here it's as, it's as low as thirty dollars I've seen it for that price and initially that's what I was gonna get it for. I was gonna get it for $30, but when he explained the difference, and I heard the difference when I uh, paired the headphones, it, it, it was like night and day. The one I purchased for 100 and the one that was just, you know, for $30. So there are different uh, types that they sell, different grades of fakeness. So you could get really fake, or you could get, you know, a much better grade of fake. And I noticed that also with the, um, the Louis Vuitton bags and the, the coach bags and the different um, name brand bags in the front of the store when you first walk in they'll have the bags for really 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 inexpensive as far as maybe $25 and you might think wow that's you know that's a that's a, that's a steal but if you know anything about these um, bags you know you look at the zipper you look at the stitching you look at different things and you realize that it's really off and you can 
detect that it's, it's not real. But they will take you to the back and they'll say, if you want the, the one that looked as close to real as possible, Hi. hello, then uh, they take you to the back. And when they take you to the back, that's when they pull out the real fake ones, <laughs> like the ones that look really, really close to real. And the prices then go up significantly. So you're not going to be paying $25, $30 for a knockoff. You're going to be paying maybe $100, $125. But it will look as close to um, real as you can get it, if that makes sense. So let's kind of circle around this banner. So here it's just a bunch of um, iPhone cases, headphones, and again it's a lot of the, of the same thing so I don't go through every single aisle. They have some wild iPhone cases. <laughs> Some of them have like glitter inside of it. It's the type of stuff that you'd probably get off like Amazon or one of these companies. So as you can see, this floor is all electronics. It's all electronic repairs. It's all electronic accessories. And they have for every iPhone model from like the iPhone probably 4 I saw a case for the iPhone iPhone 4 I'm not sure what's going on here oh there's candy so yeah yeah it almost looks like they're giving away the phone the way the amount of people is there they also do screen repair I need to get actually my phone my screen repaired I should get it repaired now, actually. Oh, but if I get my phone repaired, then I'm using it to, to, uh, to film. So <laughs> that wouldn't be a good thing. I'd have to get it done when I'm, when I'm finished. So here again, we're cutting into another section, but again, it's a lot of the same thing. Last repairs. I want to ask them how much it costs to get my uh, my glass repaired. Well, the glass is not cracked. I have a, uh, a screen on top of it, but I just need to, for them to take that off and put on another one. I gotta ask. Hello, how are you? Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Hello. They do repairs. Hello. Uh, battery, LCD, glass. I have a, I have a tempered glass on my phone. How much does it cost to get to uh, take it off and get it repaired? Um, it's a it's a screensaver. The the glass cover, the glass cover is cracked, and I just need to pull it off and put a new one on. Do you know how much it, I know how much it is? What? Do you know how much it costs? He would know. Ask him. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting um, a screen repaired. Do you know how much it costs? <laughs> I gotta go to someone that speaks English. Here he goes. Uh -huh. How much? It, who do I speak to? Uh, speak to him? Okay. It looks like I have to wait though. What problem, sir? Um, I have a screen, screen that needs so you see it's like a, a thin but it's a screensaver I could just pull this off what model? Uh, iPhone uh, 14, 14 Pro, Max. Pro Max yes so I need to get the screensaver you just have to pull it off and put the new one on uh, working every working everything is fine yeah the phone's nothing wrong with the phone I just need to a glass only. pull this off glass only. yeah the fake glass and then put it back uh, on scratch resistant glass uh, 75 uh, 75 pesos 7,500 7,500 pesos yeah. just to replace the yeah, screensaver okay all right and you guys have the screensaver here yeah, or yeah. I have to buy it somewhere you have it here yeah. okay so I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit and then okay. I'll come back thank you so much okay. all right 
All right, so I'm gonna continue walking around. It costs us uh, 7,500. But I don't think, uh, I don't think he really understood what I was saying because that's very expensive for glass. You can buy a three pack of uh, shatter glass, um, the shatterproof glass for little or nothing and then to get it replaced, we've gotten that replaced for pennies on the dollar here. So I think he probably thought my screen was cracked. The actual iPhone screen was cracked and he wanted, that's the cost to repair and put on a brand new glass. So yeah, so basically that's it. I mean, that's it for this mall here. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. We've done the Mall of Asia, which is Asia's biggest, uh, Philippines, I should say, Philippines' largest mall. We've done that, and um, yeah. And as usual, we will see you in the next one.